Hey everyone, I've decided to make a template for TikTok and this will help people publishing to TikTok keep their uh, titles and video or anything they want in the kind of, you could say, title safe area of TikTok. This stuff here that you see on all the TikTok videos, the likes and comments and the different uh, titles and things like that. So I've created a template that's going to help keep your video in the safe zone so you're not going to have an issue with these uh, items interfering with your video. In the past, I've published some videos to TikTok for some clients and in the past, I've had some issues with maybe some of the words being blocked by some of these uh, icons or titles. So this guide or template that I created, it'll really help you kind of keep in the safe zone, so to speak. And I'll show you how to apply that now. So I created it using Apple's Motion and I created basically a generator template. So once you add it to your Motion template folder, it's gonna be found in the generators uh, section. So basically you would go over to titles and generators, you would select generators. And then once you've added it to the folder, it will show up here. We'll apply it now. I'll show you how to do that. It's very simple. So you select it and you hit Q, or you can drag it down, it's up to you, and it will sit right on your timeline there. And you can stretch it out forever how long uh, you need it to be. Typically, TikTok videos, uh, the max you can have is 59 seconds. As you can see here, it keeps everything that you want in this kind of safe zone, so you're not being blocked by these icons or words or the uh, stuff that will appear up here on the TikTok video, you got this nice little box. And you can actually adjust these lines as needed. So you just go over here in your um, inspector uh, section and you have a bunch of published parameters. So you can actually change all these. You can change where the lines sit. So if you want to, for example, move the uh, top line down, you can do that. Um, and if you just want to reset it back to where it was, you can just reset it there. Um, same thing with the bottom line. You can move that and you can just reset that. And same thing with these uh, side lines as well. You can move them in if you want to just have a little bit more control. The other thing I've allowed you to control is the color. So you can change the color of these lines to anything you want. And you can change them to white or blue um, yellow, whatever you prefer. They're red by default. So once you get your video finished, you don't have to apply this template at the beginning. You can apply it at the end. It's totally up to you. Once it's added, it's very easy to toggle it on and off. You just hit the letter V on your keyboard. And as you can see, it's toggling it off right there. So that's quite easy as well. The other control I've given you just in case uh, maybe you don't know a lot of the shortcuts in FCPX, is this master opacity up here. So you can bring it down and you can bring it right basically down to nothing if you want. I tried to give you as much control as I thought that you would need for this template. So how do you apply this now to FCP? How do you apply it to your generators tab uh, in FCP. Well, I'll show you how to do that now. It's very easy. And to download this, I'm going to add a link in the description below. So to add this, we're going to go to Finder. So once you're in Finder, you're going to go to your Movies folder, and you're going to go to Motion Templates, and go to Generators. Now, if you don't have Motion installed, uh, you can still do this through the Generators tab just in the FCPX folder. But if you have motion installed, you're going to find it under the motion templates. So once you're in motion templates, you're going to go to generators and I've created a folder and it's TikTok guide template right here. And as you can see, Robert Cole, TikTok guide template, and you click over into TikTok guide template and there's all the uh, information and uh, components of it. And basically this is a motion template. And if you did want to tweak this, you could. You could open it in motion, but I tried to give enough controls within FCPX so you don't have to be going back and forth to motion. So now the installation part. So once you go to the link in the description, download the TikTok guide template, and then simply 
Just drag it into the generators folder, hop back over to FCPX, and once you're in FCPX, you will see it appear here. And just to recap, to apply it, you can drag it, or you can do the, the faster route and just letter Q on your keyboard, and that will just put it on top of your timeline. So that's it for today. I hope this template helps you. A lot of people are using TikTok. Obviously, it's extremely popular. Uh, let me know in the comments below uh, what you think about this template. Um, I can make tweaks and update it uh, as needed, and I appreciate some feedback. Uh, let me know if you want me to do any more of these templates in motion. Uh, there's a few more that I'm working on. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will have more videos soon.